Metal Marty Mac. Uh, this is a short video I'm going to do. Uh, this is a video I was meant to do a while ago. Uh, if anybody has seen uh, Ender's Kerrang collection videos, um, you'll know I was going to do a Metal Hammer one. So uh, I've just gone through Ender's stuff here. There's a stack of Metal Hammers. Uh, some old, some uh, more modern. I'd say the majority of them is from the 2000s period, so I'm just going to fly through them. There's some from, there's one from 91, there's a couple from a uh, few from 88 and a few from 87. So uh, I'm just quickly going to show you these. I'm also going to show you a few little maiden books, uh, programs, kind of booklet things that came with uh, in this collection as well. So uh, yeah, so there's a lot of, well, there's a good bit of stuff here, so I'm quickly going to fly through them. So what I'll do is I'll show the maiden stuff. Just going through these again this morning, having a look through them. So this is a... Uh, I made Made in England Metal Hammer Presents. It's obviously a supplement that came with uh, uh, the edition of uh, Metal Hammer. Yeah, so it's just uh, just uh, the usual pictures and posters and all that jazz. So I'm not gonna go through these in details. Not the video I wanna do is go through all the details. Okay, up next we have um, this quite large uh, Iron Maiden Dance of Death World Tour, 2003-2004. So these, these are full color uh, are these programs? I don't know what you'd call them, so maybe somebody can tell me. Programs, just guide to the tour. Uh, so, all full color pictures, uh, some reading in it, some advertising in it as well. So, uh, yeah, they're nice. They're nice books. Nice big books. Next up, we have another one. We have this one is from 1990 Intercity Express No Prayer on the Roads. Obviously, No Prayer for the Dying. Similar sort of thing, it seems like a, a like a tour program. This one's a bit a bit loose at the back, there's a kind of tear in the cover, but um still nice, all full colour, so yeah, so um there you go, that's that one. Up next we have a real live tour. Um yeah, don't know what year this is. 1993, 94, it's a real live tour. Uh, Similar sort of thing, full of pictures, uh, just, it's really cool, nice to have, um, yeah, nice, so they're nice books then, I don't know what you call them, they're not programs, you they're not programs, but um, yeah, similar sort of thing. Next up we have an older one, this is uh, the World Peace Tour, it's obviously a Peace of Mind Tour from 1983, it's pretty cool, it's kind of vinyl sized cover has a few dog ears which are if we expect that with time but uh, yeah pretty cool and um, I'm sure a lot of you probably have these uh, big maiden collectors have these already but uh, yeah pretty cool it's made in uh, top of their game in that picture there okay nearly through the maiden stuff there uh, oh well there is one more this is a uh, 19 1998, Donington was it? Um, Iron Maiden, uh, Kiss, Beverly Rot, Megadeth, Guns N' Roses, Halloween. I think there's a treat played maybe as well that year as well. But uh, this is another full color guide to all the bands at Donington this year. Uh, kind of a collector's piece, these are Kiss, um, Beverly Rot. So you know all the jazz you played there. The Megadeth. Uh, GNR, uh, a piece there about Halloween as well. So uh, yeah, nice. This actually has a concert ticket in it, but I'm, I'm, it's, it's obviously um, uh, a dummy ticket, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, cool. They're nice little things to have those. There was also a couple of Iron Maiden books. There's one over there that I'm reading, them, so I'm not going to bother my arse getting it. And there's also the book for Flight 66. Really heavy coffee table book uh, full of just fantastic colour pictures I'm sure a lot of these have seen this already but uh, yeah nice that's a ton weight and speaking of ton weights we've got the Iron Maiden the photographs by Ross Halfin was Ross Halfin with Kerrang or was he with Metal Hammer or maybe both so this is a uh, just Maiden history of Maiden in photographs so uh, yeah Absolutely stunning, stunning book. I'm just trying to pick out some cool pictures. So no one, Steve and Paul Diano. So this, as you can see, it's a big, thick book. Uh, you have to be sitting down to read this. Uh, it's just full of fantastic pictures. 
so that's the that's the maiden stuff. I just thought I'd show you those just with the metal hammers just to fill in the video. Although this is probably gonna take a few minutes to show, so I'm gonna boot through these. So in the 2000s, this I'm not gonna give you all the years of all these. I'm just looking for this one because I was reading this this morning. So this is 2010 edition of Metal Hammer. So uh, Final Frontier kind of uh, lenticular color on that one there. Cover even that color cover. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna fly through these metal hammers. There's another special edition one, uh, Iron Maiden special edition. As a lot of you probably can tell by Ender's uh, collection of Kerangs and other stuff. This is um, a comes off special edition. Uh, this was in 2003, this one. So yeah, so we'll be buying up anything when Iron Maiden on it, it seems. Uh, okay, as I said, these are all 2000s. I'm not sure what year, but I think that's that guy from Disturbed, very exciting, uh, System of a Down, we're on the cover of, that, of this edition, as you can tell I'm not really up on this kind of music or not interested in it, uh, not so bad, this one, picture of Alexi from uh, Children of Bodom, that's a nice picture of him there, R.E.P. Alexi, next up we have Metal Hammer Golden Gods 2008, it's obviously some kind of award ceremony, Kerry King, Alexi, Chuck Billy, girl from Lacuna Coil, Gene Simmons, and a couple of other people I don't know. But uh, that's that one. No really interesting these 2000s ones, they're, they're not very exciting. Next up we have one of, uh, I think that's, that's Trivium, is it? So let's put out sort of Trivium, Metallica, Dead Magnetic on the back. Uh, there's a nice one, uh, Iron Maiden. Oh gee, it was this one, 2008 one. I made one on the cover. That's a really cool picture. Um, yeah, so these are just just metal hammers. You know what they are. Watch metal making videos if you're interested in metal hammer. Um, plenty of articles, plenty of reading. I haven't gone through these yet. I have read a lot of the Korangs, but um, I haven't really touched on them. The metal hammers just took them out of the crate this morning. Uh, picture of uh, Nightwish on this one with Annette Olsen. Pretty cool. Um, any posters right inside this? Now there's a little bit of a pull out incoming. It's obviously new releases. Might be worth checking out just to see what was happening around that year. Uh, next up, we got another one with Eddie. The world is not enough. Eddie, with kind of rugby cover. The rugby World Cup or something must be on. He's dressed in rugby gear. So yeah, another one with Eddie. Next up we have uh, Defenders of the Faith. Uh, I'm not sure who that guy is. That's uh, Michael Ackerfeld, Opet, Bloodbath. Uh, on the front of that one there, it looks like Angela Gosso. Uh, next up we have uh, Metal Hammer. Well, obviously Metal Hammer. 2000, June 2000, is it? Can I make it out? So we've got Bruce and Steve, Iron Maiden. Yeah, uh, still in the 2000s. Is that, that the guy from Slipknot, is it? Or am I no, not big up on that music anyway, so I don't know. Looks like Joey Jordan or whatever his name was. Slipknot, he died too. Um, where are we here now? May 2016, right? This is right up to date. That's Bruce and Maiden. Um, I will be passing some of these metal hammers on so to a certain person. Hopefully he's going to be showing a bit more detail in these magazines of anyone you're interested in. 2013, that's um, Avenged Sevenfold. Another band that one like. <laughs> okay, well, let's got a little bit of a tear in the back of this one. Now some of these ones, these are the 88s, 87s and that. They're, they're, some of them are really rattled. They're, they're as you say, in the, in the book company, they're reading copies only. Yeah, some of the covers are a bit tatty. There's some few, a few of them okay. So this one here is a 1998 one, or still in the 90s. So this is uh, Iron Maiden um, and uh, Bruce Bailey. Cool covers. Even on magazines, Maiden make great magazine covers as well as their records. Okay, this one here is from 1990, blah, shit, 1995. Donington Delirium Special, picture of Lars. Uh, big Metallica Donington sign poster inside. Okay, where are we now? 1991 is it? Some of the older ones are coming up now. So yeah, cool. Axel Rose on the front of that one. See you later.
Okay, now we are, we are. 88, June 88. So this one edition, we've got a uh, Megadoff on the front cover. Um, it's uh, the old partnership of Dave and Dave. Friends forever, Alice Cooper poster inside. Uh, so, good cool edition. As I said, Mickey, if you want any of these older ones, let me know. Covers are rattled, but just let me know. Uh, so, 1988. Uh, we've got a picture of uh, Headfield on the front of that one. I remember a lot of these. I remember we always bought Metal Hammer at home. It was a great magazine. It was a bit a bit better than Kerrang. There was just more extreme metal in it as well. Posters are still inside some of these. There's a Holy Moses poster in this one. Sorry, I didn't show you the cover of this one from 88. So this is... Um, is it 88? Yes, it is 88. Sorry, uh, Steve Harris. Okay. Uh, also in 88, number 15, more Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden were fucking everywhere. Seven Son of a Seven Son. Okay, uh, up next we have uh, 88. We have once again Iron Maiden. Maybe I ended just bought the Iron Maiden editions, I don't know. Uh, Keeper 2 was out then as well. Who was their poster in this one? Was there a poster in this one? I have a lot of loose posters from these magazines in the, the box as well, so maybe they're in some of them. Okay, now we're going to 87, and this is where they get a bit rattled, the covers. As I say, reading copies only. But still nice to just look back on them. So that 19, April 1987, David Coverdale. Obviously, Snake had Snake 87 out that year. A lot of posters are in this. Metal Church did have that poster in our bedroom at home. I don't remember it. So yeah, cool. It's nice to see these again after all these years. Uh, okay. We have 1987, September 1987. We have uh, Def Leppard. Seven posters inside. Are the posters in it? Summer tomorrow. Remember having that Warlock and Metallica poster up. So uh, yeah, what did I say? Def Leppard on that one. Only a couple more, two or three more. That's all. We'll be glad to hear. Oh shit! I'm just after really tearing that cover on that one there. It's probably the oldest one that there is. Uh, 1987. Bruce Dickinson, Andy Rhodes and Ozzy Tribute on the back. Uh, as I said, this one's pretty rattled. Poster of Tesla in the middle. And last but very not least, or uh, cover wise, it's uh, the late great Ronnie James Dio. Uh, covers hanging off this one too. But uh, yeah, I'm always just looking at the posters to see the posters in. But yeah, full of, full of great articles. Metal Hammer was a great magazine. It was so much better than Kerrang! As the music got more extreme, they kept up with it. Kerrang sort of just fucking faded away. But uh, yeah, cool poster for advertising for Demon way back then. That's it, guys. <clears throat> I hope that wasn't too long. That is the Metal Hammers. Uh, the majority of the stuff that I have from in this collection to show you yet is classic rock magazine. Uh, there's a, a shit. There's, there's just a ton of those with all the CDs for them as well. But uh, yeah, hope that was a bit of interest to you. Uh, I'm just going to pull a few out now and have a, have a look through them, read the articles and see what albums were out in those years and that. So, um, that's it. Starting to heat up the weather. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to get this video done early so I can just uh, chill for the day before work tomorrow. Just as a matter of coincidence, we're, or we're just listening to at the moment, we're listening to Night Prowler. That's not shiny. The album is called uh, No Escape. So this is a traditional heavy metal from uh, Brazil. I will be showing this in my next video next weekend, my collection update, a bit of a heavy metal update. And uh, so that's it. Have a good day, uh, enjoy the heat wave, and um, I'll see you all soon. Cheers, thanks a million, bye.